Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Here we have the Ace Line Hauler. And I got it used last year. The guy said he upgraded the motor. Um, I don't know how old it was or how many hours are on it or even if that's true to be perfectly honest because I don't know. But it was anemic. Um, I don't think it was my wiring in the boat. I guess it could have been, but either way, I called Ace Line Hauler and asked him about it or told him that this thing kind of sucked and they said that they make an upgraded motor again so this is the latest and greatest thing here so i got the conversion kit it was like 285 bucks um so i'm gonna have too much into that pot puller but whatever if it works it'll be worth it right so this is what the conversion upgrade kit comes with so you get some hardware some bolts get a basic little instructions and then you get the new motor and box I mean it's a complete deal here so I'll we'll have to take this off and because you got to fit that shaft through the hole but um, so I'm gonna take the pulley off first we'll flip that over get the pulley off and then we'll get everything apart and then we'll come back going pretty smooth so far but whoever put it together last just put it together dry and didn't put any like never seize or grease or anything on anything these screws were pretty hard to turn um, well once I soaked it with the knocker loose you can't tell but there's corrosion in these holes so hopefully it's not too hard to get that motor off of there but I think you got to drill it out for bigger screws because the one that comes with are bigger and the first thing in the manual here says to drill the holes with a 1764 bit. So um, once I get this thing off, we'll drill them out. But I got everything else off. I had to use the harmonic damper puller to get this pulley off because, again, it was a little bit of corrosion on there. Not bad. I'm going to put grease or never seize on stuff so it'll actually come apart again. I'm hoping I don't ever have to do this again, but for the next guy or if I decide to make a different davit myself and use these parts on them I'll know what to do then so okay we've got the box on there was an existing hole here that had a uh, this little dude through it for the wires which is really hard to get to because it's at an angle I guess you could take this switch out and go through there but it puts a heck of a kink in those. Um, you got to kind of force it. I got it in there. We're going to let it roll, but um, I hope it's okay. So I'm going to cover up that box and then we'll flip it over and put the pulley on. All right, we got the pulley back on and tightened down. You'll see everything fits right. The coiler fits right back where it's supposed to go. Everything is done. Um, I'm going to just put it on my boat here real quick and plug it in and see how it goes. Uh, everything was a piece of cake. The only issue that I think I have is this box. Um, it doesn't, if you can see, it just doesn't suck up tight there. So I don't know. I might take some sealant and try to seal around where that thing mounts uh, to the frame here to try to keep some moisture out. because. I'm pretty sure if it gets splashed hard enough in there, it'll get something in the box and then it'll never come out. So other than that, we'll put her on the boat and power it up. All right, she's mounted up, plugged in, flip the switch, first time making it go. Hey, she runs. Well, it almost seems faster than the other one. I kind of screwed up. I didn't take video of it running. I'm sorry about that. But hey, she's going. Got a little different sound to it. I'll probably let it run a while, make sure it isn't going to fail. Um, but yeah, so far so good. So time will tell. Shrimping doesn't open for a few more months around here. So, anyways, this is the how to. If you guys have done this swap with the newest, latest, greatest motor, it is January 2021 here. So, this should be the newest thing they have. So, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other uh, videos. We've got lots of cool stuff. Thanks for stopping by. We'll just do a little comparison like this. Okay. 
makes a little different sound. Without running it with a load on it or pulling a pot, I can say the biggest negative I see so far is this switch placement is kind of crappy. At least for my boat where it's kind of behind where you're going to stand. At least you got to, you can flick it down fast, turning it on. You got to kind of feel it. I feel like this is kind of in the way, but time will tell. So your mileage may vary. Let me know what you think.